Manchester United are ready to sell Harry Maguire this summer. It is a, it's a story coming in from a tier two or three source in there, and it's from Spain in there. But as you know, here at Manchester United Matters Channel, we come in and really get you the best that you guys deserve onto this channel. So how are you guys? I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss certain stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Guys, good morning, good night, and good evening. Today, a story came in from a story which got features from Spain in there. It's a source that really comes up and really puts up very many news concerning the Premier League in there for you. I think they are more accurate on Alexandra Isak to us now in there. They really brought in a story and said Alexandra Isak is not leaving a side which goes by the names of Rio Sociedad unless Arsenal brings in 70 million pounds. I think they broke that story in there, but they've been they are so much accurate onto news coming in from Spain, but you never know what happens in there because stories just have to jump anywhere like that. But today they've come up and put up a story that Harry Maguire is among the five players that Ralph Ragnick has really shortlisted to sell out of Manchester United. I really have to question this host and the story in here because I really believe that Ralph Ragnick is not the man in full control. You get? United, Ralph Ragnick is not going to be the Manchester United manager. You get permanent manager. He's going to pass up to the consultancy role at Manchester United. That's what Ralph Ragnick is going to do at Manchester United. So how come that you have really come in and told us that he has decided to sell? I think the best way to bring it out is that Ralph Ragnick is ready to propose to the next manager to sell Harry Maguire out of the club. But not making a decision either because i really believe that you never know what the next manager is going to see in maguire he might look at him and say oh however much is as slow as a snail he's one of those good center backs that i can really build on you know he can panel beat him and maybe says if at all i get in a serious cdm harry maguire won't be exposed in there and if at all you're looking at managers who really like players that play with the ball very well harry maguire is one of those and if at all you're bringing a coach who wants to play high line then Harry Maguire will be put back in there. So I really feel like this story can only be true if at all it's a manager. It's, um, who is the Spanish manager? He's called um, Enrique. If at all Enrique is going to be the next Manchester United manager, then this story can be true. That's the only basis I can put this story to be true because if at all Enrique is going to be the next Manchester United manager, that means he cannot come to Manchester United until he leaves the World Cup because he's the coach of Spain and Spain are going to be playing in the World Cup. That is from 18th November to 18th December. That is Enrique in there. So if Enrique will come in at Manchester United after the World Cup, like after Christmas, then that means Ralph Ragnick will be given a chance to take over Manchester United until December. That means Ralph Ragnick will have a say on which players to stay or leave. That's the only way I can come up and agree this story. But when you look at the entire news, the only coaches that are really close to this job are Pochettino and Eric Ten Hag. Enrique is nowhere into this equation. I've not heard anyone talking about Enrique in the, however much they say that five, short, five managers were shortlisted. Lopotegui of Sevilla, Enrique, Thomas Tuko, Eric Ten Hag and Pochettino and yesterday I was watching Sky Sports News and they said Tuko is off because Chelsea looks like it's going to get off these problems they are into after their owner was sanctioned and his assets were banned and Chelsea were told that if at all they are to buy in players and sign new contracts they need to get in a new rich man to buy them and there is a consortium in Saudi Arabia that has really put in a bid that has been accepted and Chelsea board looks like they have accepted it but the United Kingdom needs to fast, 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 fast screenitize this company or consortium that is taking on Chelsea to let this go in there. So after United recognizing that Chelsea are really going to get out of this maze, they took Thomas Tuchel off that short list and they now have four managers. They have Elopotegui, Enrique, Eric Ten Hag and Pochettino. But in all those four, news is focusing on two in there. That is Eric Ten Hag and Pochettino in there and Eric Ten Hag being pointed out as that player, as that manager who is really ready to take on Manchester United and 
his buyout clause, all his compensation fee at a team which goes by the name of Ajax is very little, 5 million euros, and that of Pochettino is 20 million euros in there. And he has a staff, he has a staff where they are supposed to spend 1 million pounds per a week in there. So I really believe that United can go in for for Eric Ten Hag. So I really like I'm touching this story out. I'm really flashing it out. Maybe when a reliable source or a tier one story, a tier one source comes in and gives us this story. And even if it's Sky Sports, even if it's the Sun or the Mirror, provided it's in England or Manchester United Evening News, if at all they come out and publish this story, especially Samuel Lucas being behind it, I can come out and really and really come in here and really back it with all my strength in there because I really believe that Ragnik doesn't have the power to say who is really going to be out of this club and if at all he never wanted Harry Maguire he would have benched him always but he has an option he has options of Victor Lindelof, Eric Bay and Phil Jones but he keeps him on the pitch even in the games that we've lost he has kept him on the pitch so I don't believe that Ralph Ragnik is ready to let this man go in there but remember Reasons that have been given for Harry Maguire to be looked at as the first player to exit Manchester United in the summer are the first one, the rift he has created in between the dressing room, in between him and Ronaldo. They say that when United weighs in at Harry Maguire and Ronaldo, they better stay with Ronaldo because he makes them a lot of money. And he has delivered because this season Ronaldo has scored in goals in, um, in his appearances in there. I really believe that he's soon... He's soon hitting his 20 goal mark in there. He has scored 12 goals in 24 Premier League games and six goals in seven Champions League games. Those are 18 goals. So I will believe that I will believe that in the last nine games that United are left to play, he is really going to net. He can score in 30 goals. I know he's going to register some hat tricks in there for you. So I will believe that Ronaldo is going to come up and really get to 20 goals this season in there at Manchester United. And we look at his output. I think it's well explanatory and self-explanatory that you rather take out Ronaldo. You da sorry, you rather take out Harry Maguire and leave Ronaldo with you because Ronaldo has done it all. He's one of the he's one of the goats in the world, in the world of football. And secondly, he makes United a lot of money. And when you look at Harry Maguire, he has costed United a lot. I remember the goals that. Harry Maguire has costed United. I remember them for well. I can, if I had time, I would have sat here and really explained to you a lot in there. Secondly, the reason as to why they want him out, he his poor performances in there that have costed United very many goals in there for you. When you look at that game against a side which goes by the names of by the names of Liverpool, we are beaten by five, but close to three goals in the first half. They are because of Harry Maguire, you get. Talk of Watford, talk of Leicester City, talk of Burnley, um, which other game? They are close to five games that Harry Maguire has made United lose three or two points into those. So it shows you that Harry Maguire has made United lose close to 10 or 12 points this season. So it shows you how ugly this is for him and I really believe that that is a very good reason and I also second him to leave United in there but that with the board really give him with the board give the manager the powers to let Maguire out that's the big question I leave for you here on to the Manchester United Matters channel go into the comment section and tell us what you think about Harry Maguire a man who came in at Manchester United in 2019 at 80 million pounds from Leicester City he has made 138 appearances for Manchester United and he has scored seven goals for Manchester United and he's trophyless at Manchester United. Not even a Community Shield, not even a Carabao Cup, not even an FA Cup, not even a UEFA Europa League Cup, not even a Champions League or a Premier League in there. Unless he has made United reach a finale of the UEFA Europa League that were beaten by a side which goes by the name of Villarreal in penalties that was in Poland and that was last year in there. So I really believe that. If at all he's shown to exit that Manchester United, I'll be happy for that. But it's something I doubt because the board really feels like these are players that are untouchable at Manchester United. And that English clique headed by Harry Maguire is now facing the Latin clique headed by Cristiano Ronaldo. I go by the names of Rokan David onto the Manchester United Matters channel. Your reactions are welcome into the comment section below about Harry Maguire to be thrown 
out of Manchester United so that they gather money to get in other players. I'm signing out for now. See you ladies. May the Almighty God protect you and cover you in the blood of Jesus. I'm out.